and it's time to refill some spools so I can keep printing on my Bamboo Lab P1S. Now I've used up all of my PLA Tough, and now I'm moving on to Pet G H F. This is a very temperature resistant material and is great for using if you want to make parts a little tougher. I have my spool here and I'm going to reload this spool because I ordered the ones that didn't come on a spool. It's a little bit uh, cheaper and I guess environmentally friendly. So these spools are great. They are reusable, just twist apart. We take off our old cardboard. We take our new material here. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? All right, now that I've messed that one up, <laughs> I'm gonna try to do another one. I really should try to learn more before I do things. I'm just now noticing this cardboard has a notch on it, which is probably why I had a hard time shutting that first one. So you take this cardboard off. I have my new spool, which also has a notch on it. <laughs> I put that on there. I take this, there we go, I line it all up, and I rotate it back, and now it's all locked in the way it should be. And that was really, 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 really easy if you do it the right way. So now that I know what I'm doing, I still need to fix my mistake. So I downloaded the parts for this Pastomatic filament spool winder, so I could rewind the orange onto a spool that was properly clicked together. Now this is cool. I have fixed my mistake and I've learned how to properly reload these spools now. And now that we're loaded with all PETG, we can get back to some fun projects on the Bamboo Lab P1S.